Hi, my name is Dougal McLaren. I'm the reference coordinator at the library at Southeastern. Sometimes in your research you'll find that you need materials from other libraries and this video is going to show you how to do that, as how to request those items as a distance student. I'll emphasize the fact that we're talking about requesting items because there are certain policies that go along with interlibrary loan for distance students that uh, we won't discuss here. Uh, you can find out more information about those in the FAQs um, over here on this side or the research guides which are here once we have those posted and up and um, that should be soon. Alright so in this video we're just going to talk about the process of requesting journal articles and then the process of requesting books. So primarily uh, for journal articles you're going to be using GoSearch or any of our EBSCO databases to acquire journal articles and so I'm going to type in the problem of evil and I'm going to do that search in GoSearch and since I know I'm looking just for articles, I'm just going to go ahead and limit it to academic journal articles. And then I'm going to have results that, uh, with this particular subject, that show up that the library does not own. It's very easy to tell. Usually this request this item through inter through, from another library will show up. And then you have your linked full text, and then you see we have this one here. Um, so I can request any of these first five uh, for interlibrary loan because we don't own them. All right, so how do you do that? Well, instead of clicking on this item and filling out the form and then clicking on this item and filling out the form, it's gonna, we're going to do the exact same process that we did before with uh, items by mail, and that is click on the blue folders and add them to the orange folder up here. Once you've added them to the orange folder, click on Folder View, or you've added all the items you're interested in. Uh, you can then click on Email. And unlike, um, and just like the items by mail, you'll enter in your email address. One of the differences with this form is instead of emailing reference, you'll email libill or ilbill -L at sebits.edu. That's I L, excuse me, L I B I L L at sebits.edu. All right. In the line, you can put ILL materials or interlibrary loan materials. In the comment section, uh, you'll need to put distant student, name, ID number, and mailing address. Once you've filled that out, you can click send and that will email the interlibrary loan assistant and she will process your materials. Um, as quickly as she can. Keep in mind we do process three to four items in interlibrary loan every other day for students here on campus so that means we'll do the same processing uh, for you so if you drop 10 on us just know that those are going to go out in three to four uh, item chunks um, over the next couple of days or several days alright so that's how you request a journal article. For books uh, you're going to have to use WorldCat. So World, if you go back to our home page and you see this search box with the tabs on it, you want to click on the WorldCat tab. And there you see Problem of Evil. Click on Search. When you do this search, uh, the books that pop up, it'll indicate to you whether we own the item or not as well. And so you see the library at Southeastern, you know you cannot request that through interlibrary loan because we own it. If it's checked out, you'll need to place a hold. Uh, the problem of evil number four here uh, and number six are items that you can request. So I'm going to click on number six. Uh, you can also always expand uh, these worldwide libraries and see which libraries have it worldwide. Enter in your zip code and see if there's any close to you if you need the material soon. Um, but to in order to request it from our interlibrary loan department, you can request the item from another library. Fill out this form. It does say campus library pickup now. If a, in the future there will be a new, a different form that will show up that will, might be a, f a few months before it drops, but it will give you the option of saying you're a distance student. But in the comment section, if you can put distance student. And if you know you only need a certain chapter, just say chapter three in there as well. And then that way we'll know that we can, when we receive that item, we can scan it for you. Otherwise, we're still going to contact you about that because interlibrary loan for distance students does have its drawbacks. Number one is it takes time for it to be sent to us and then we have to mail it to you and then you have to mail it back to us and we have to provide time for that in your due date. So you'll actually get a due date and a mail back due date so that you'll so that we'll have time for the mail to get that item to us so that we can get it back by the due date. So uh, check out more information on that at the uh, Lot, uh, research guides and the FAQs or just send us a, give us a call. Um, so if you have any questions about that feel free to email us at libill at sebits.edu and that's our best way to contact interlibrary loan. 
All right. See you later.